Now please welcome to the podium the Athletic Director of Grambling State University, Ashley Robinson. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the press conference as we start all over. The Athletic Director of Prairie View A&M University, Ashley Robinson. Thanks, Bill. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. P V U L. As you see, I want to thank our alumni for coming out today. Uh, for the chapter, Mr. Evans is here, and Kim Rose is here. Uh, thank you all for coming out and supporting. Thank you for what you do for P V as well. As you know, it's a very exciting year for the Panthers. Uh, we a lot of history this year. Uh, we broke ground on our stadium. We opened our stadium up this year. We're very proud about our brand new stadium. Yeah. And thanks to our mom supporters uh, for supporting us in that as well. Uh, four decades I watched uh, the Southwest Athletic, Southwest and Southwest State Fair Classic. Uh, this year we're shooting for 94,000 fans. I think we definitely can do it. Uh, as you see, we have two of the best coaches in football. Yeah. And I mean, two of the best coaches in football. Young, fiery coaches. Uh, I, I had breakfast with them this morning. And, and just to sit there, to sit there and hear them talk about football and talk about the history of Grambling and the history of PV. I mean, we have two great, outstanding gentlemen here today. And I think it's just definitely a blessing to have outstanding coaches to mentor our young men today. So definitely, I wanted to give, give my hats off to Coach Bob. doing a great job. He's came in and done a great, great job at Grambling. And also to Coach Willie Shotgun Simmons has come in and did a great job for the Panthers as well. I want to thank all the sponsors uh, for coming out and supporting us. Without you all, this would not be possible. I want to thank the city of Dallas. The city of Dallas is very good to PV from a recruiting standpoint, from an academic standpoint, from a fans standpoint. I definitely want to thank the city of Dallas and State Fair. Thank you all for all your support and all your help for everything you've done. Southwest. Every time people even PV fly, we use Southwest. So we need to take that account. I'm going to be calling you for some sponsorship in the world. So I want to say thank you, Southwest, for everything you have done. Uh, Coca Cola as well, Budweiser, all our supporters. Uh, Al Wash in the back. Al has done a great job with his class. And I want to say, Al, thank you for everything you've done. I also think Al doesn't get the credit that he deserves, but he works his butt off to make sure that this class is happening for both universities. Thank you all for coming out. Go Panthers. Thank you for those comments. And I hope you saw the enthusiasm in this audience when you mentioned your new stadium. Both Prairie View and Grambling fans applauded. Right? It's important to the swag, right? It's important to come to football, right? By the way, how many fans are here from Prairie View? Stand up and holler. Well, let's see if that's an evening or if Grambling stands up and beats you. They took you. You want a second chance? It's a standoff. It'll be settled in the stadium Saturday afternoon. The last five years, Grambling has won the last two games. Prairie View won the three prior to that. as I said earlier, come into this game with records of three victories and one defeat. 
The head coach for Prairie View is in his second year. He had a record of eight and two last year. And at three and one in his second year, he knows about this classic. Ladies and gentlemen, the head football coach of Prairie View AM, and Willie Simmons.
each uh, each year the teams are getting a lot better. Um, the, the head coaches are, I think we have some great head coaches in our league from top to bottom. Again, you know, you're looking at uh, head coach Files has done a great job. I like to think I'm doing a pretty good job. But again, it's not just us. I mean, you know, Texas Southern, uh, um, Southern, Alcorn State. Um, again, you go across the board. Um, we have some really good coaches in this league uh, who are all, I think, doing a great job of raising our young men to be productive citizens. My, my motto with Preview and them is Preview produces productive people. And again, that's at the forefront of my vision as head coach to make sure that when my young men leave our program in four or five years, that they're ready to take on society, they're ready to make society better. And that's our vision every day. And hopefully in the meantime, we can win some football games along the way. And so again, I want to thank you all. Like, uh, like Mr. Robinson said, I hope that we fill out Cotton Bowl. Last year we had 50,000, and I think uh, no one really knew how good each team, either team was last year. Um, again, we, we were two new coaches um, with not a lot of uh, things behind our resumes. Uh, but now you're looking at two, two programs that are proven that they're very, very good football teams. And so again, I encourage everyone to come out and support these young men. Let's fill the Cotton Bowl. Let's make it a historic event. And I just look forward to a great football game. Thank you all. Coach Simmons, thank you, and good luck on Saturday. Last year, in his third year at Grambling, he had a record of nine and three. He also knows this classic, and he's ready to go. Head football coach of Grambling State University, Coach Roderick Pauls. Fam, how you doing? First of all, I'd like to give honor and praise to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for this opportunity to be here. Uh, once again, it's a privilege and it's an honor to be here. Uh, I bring you greetings from Grambling State University uh, in Grambling, Louisiana, where our president, newly appointed president, uh, Mr. Rick Gallo is doing an extremely great job of, of, of taking care of the State University. Um, I would like to uh, first uh, tip my hat to uh, Coach Simmons and uh, and you guys at Prairie View because you guys are raising the ball. And, uh, and that's something that's needed with the additions that you guys have made uh, facility-wise into your program. Uh, that's going to speak volumes for all other programs, especially us at Grambling State University and other HBCU programs. So uh, I'll give you guys a hand for that. Um, this is a big weekend. Um, it's, a, it's a big weekend and it's always been a big, big weekend for me uh, because I grew up as a little kid here in the stands uh, coming to these games. And then, um, and then I was a guy later on as a teenager that was grabbing a helmet and, and walking uh, uh, with Doug Williams off the field, and, and, uh, and then I became the player. So uh, it is an honor and it's a privilege, and this is a, this is a, a, a great opportunity for us at Grambling State University. Um, you're talking about two really good programs and two really good coaching staffs that do an extremely great job of not only developing our players on the football field, but also off the field. Um, I think what's so important about what we do uh, as coaches is not only do we have an opportunity to affect change uh, athletically, but also help them academically and also just in day-to-day -day operations. You know, when you get an opportunity to do some of the things that we've been able to do at our program, uh, you walk the Edmund Pettus Bridge, you go and uh, visit the JFK uh, uh, assassination site, and you take them on these history lessons. You go see Meg Rivers' uh, home where he was assassinated. Uh, and even when we come here this Friday, you know, going and, and, and traveling through the Holocaust Museum, all of these things are things that are very, very instrumental to our young people that they probably won't get the opportunities to do uh, any other way. Uh, but uh, I am so pleased, uh, not only for our football program, but also for those other things that we're able to do uh, at Grambling State University. I would like to thank our sponsors. I would like to thank Southwest Airlines for uh, for the sponsorship, for the support. I would like to thank McDonald's, Coca-Cola, uh, uh, Budweiser, 
uh, in the city of Dallas for uh, your support because we need HBCUs and we need our yes, right. um, We are looking forward to a, a great contest this weekend. You know, I'm a little bit uh, jealous because I'm I'm coaching and working and and I'm looking up and I'm looking at this this little flyer here and Jasmine Sullivan is coming. <laughs> And that's one of my favorite artists. You know, but, uh, I'm going to be locked away in, in, the, uh, in a hotel trying to get prepared for a game, but hopefully uh, I'll be able to see her some other time. So it's kind of bothering me that she's going to be in the same city as me and I can't watch her perform. But, uh, you know, the city of Dallas has been so big uh, to Grambling State University. A number of great players have come from this place uh, to Grambling and have played great. Uh, our alumni has done an extremely great job here of helping us and, and really supporting us at Grambling State University. And we have nine guys on our team from uh, the Dallas area who will be coming back home. And, uh, and that will be playing in this game this weekend. So uh, you're talking about a clash of, of several high school kids from the, the Dallas Metroplex, from Prairie View and also from Grambling that are going to get an opportunity to perform on the field. So it's a great, great event. Uh, I've always been excited about, about this event, even as a kid, and I'm even more excited now, uh, even though I'm 42 years of age. Uh, but I just thank you guys for this opportunity. I'm looking forward to competing this weekend, and, uh, and uh, this will be a great event. We're, we're enjoying it, everything that we do here in the city of Dallas. Thank you so much for your time, and I look forward to seeing you guys this weekend.